so welcome back to pro wrestling sim and we still have two raws and two smackdowns until the pay-per-view so we need to see how we use them for the final build-up um i got my card here on a piece of paper somewhere but like dave, dave Meltzer, i have five thousand pieces of paper around here but unlike dave Meltzer, i cannot find it so there's more than one show to book. Please select which show you would like to book first. Yeah, we start with main event. Again, this show we don't really need, but we, maybe we can give some people some exposure where we may not have too much time for them on the main. So if we do Raw and SmackDown 90 minutes, then we should do this 20 minutes and the rest is filled with video packages and commercials. So Chad Gable, he can work a little bit here, maybe with... We need the baby face and heel filter. Do we have a baby face and heel filter? I think I was wondering last time. This is what you really need here. So let's filter the wrestlers. You should be able to come somehow quick save or quick load these filters. So Gable... he takes on woods woods is popular but i don't like him so i don't want him on my show he can wrestle here let's give them eight minutes um and yeah he's more over than gable so he can win this thing kick off the night make the fans happy um then let's add a video package oh, somebody i don't have to assume that anybody watched this show anyway oh maybe let's do something special maybe good old shotzi gets a video here she maybe did some visited some events or so but like documentary stuff you had the, back in the day you had that old show confidential and they always had interesting clips maybe we can put some of these clips on these programs maybe Shotzi did something and we show her and she's likable and hot and <laughs> whatever so and then we have nine minutes left for a second match let's give the girls a match do we have a gender filter yeah we have a gender filter Filtering could be easier. So Liv Morgan, she's popular again. I don't like her. She gets to. Uh, I don't. I don't hate her, but I don't. I'm not a fan. She gets to wrestle somebody. She gets to wrestle Natalia. Give them nine minutes as well, and we have somehow filled this show reasonably. Nothing too exciting. <coughs> That's not what this show is for, anyway. Natalia gets a win over live she cheats to do that and that's it so we have the show before we we are in a local small arena in connecticut five thousand people so we got a three-star match the audience seemed to enjoy this gable had a yes mix of popularity changes xavier woods one popularity three stars 73 percent Nothing too offensive, nothing wrong with this. An angle involving Shotzi, she got more popular, very little, 0.02, 81% rating. But Shotzi has been growing on me. Uh, then another three star match, you see everything is three stars unless Jinder Mahal is involved. 71% audience seemed to enjoy this. Natalia had a boost because of her gimmick. Liv gained and lost a bit of popularity, but she only gained little and lost a lot in Latin America and Europe. I don't know why this is always so specific. Natalia won a bit of popularity. They seem to watch this show a lot in Europe. And in Germany, the Hart family has always been very popular. 74% show rating. And let's see what we do with Monday Night Raw. We have the tournament. We still have three matches in that tournament, the semifinals and the finals. We will have one of these matches in our main event. 
start the show with a number one contenders tag team match between the Mysterios, Dominic and Ray. Hä? Is this a bug? Why doesn't this work? Track to add opponents. <coughs> Something wrong here? Oh, no. Again. Drag or double click to add opponents. Oh, we haven't added any. Anyway, then we start the show with a match between not only girls um, let's start the show and let's try again Mysterios ah now it works the Mysterios face off against Los Lotharios they can do some lucha things uh, no 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 they were supposed to be opponent not partners so the Lotharios against the Mysterios the winners will face the Usos and Great Balls of Fire we give them 10 minutes to kick off the show with a fast and furious matchup the Mysterios are always over Ray gets the victory over one of the other two and that's it so we have an why do you? I'm still wondering why you have a specific angle here for entrance. Does this happen so often that somebody just does an entrance? Lacey Evans from three years ago comes to mind and she didn't set the world on fire with that. So we have an interview. Interview with the Judgment Day. Another, oh, we have an email. Maybe let's check the email summary of SmackDown 420,000 ticket sales and tens of 10,000. It's always the same numbers, isn't it? So back to the program. Um, an interview. Thought about the judgment day, but now maybe we should have them in some kind of spooky surrounding later. Um, Where do I have to add? Is this somehow buggy or am I too stupid today? So interview. Ah, here, here on the right. Yeah, maybe I should wear my glasses. There is an. In I would like to do an interview with Ricochet because if Kayla can do most of the talking, then that might may, may become okay. But I saw now the then it doesn't advance the storyline, does it? Or maybe let's just try that or use our imagination. So Ricochet, oh, we don't want to drag the Shondo down too much too early. Gets interviewed by Kayla. Kayla does all of the interviews. Um, so, almost forgot that we have Seth freaking Rollins on the show uh, on our roster. Oh man, so Rollins and Kayla. I still need to get going. So he can talk for a few minutes, put himself over. He will wrestle on the show. Noticing that my microphone goes on and off. Um, hope it's better now. I really need to do something about that. So I'll keep an eye on that. So, um, hope you could hear all my talking. If you're interested in that. Um, continue with the match.
and Carmelo with his friend Trick will have his first match on Monday Night Raw. Trick is in his corner and he will fight our friend Kofi Kingston. He will have Xavier also. Xavier wrestled on main event. So both of these guys will interfere somehow. This will be an eight minute match. And the winner is Carmelo Hayes. But he cheats in some sort of way. And that's it. I really need to <laughs> take out my notes before I do the next booking. Um, Then we add an angle. Mm. Now the Judgment Day appears and they do some spooky promo. Talk about Damien Priest's match against Cody Rhodes, which will take place next SmackDown. Today our main event is AJ Styles against Finn Balor. So the Judgment Day, they can talk for five minutes. Um, they will not talk about anybody specific. Um, or no, why not have them talk about Cody? We don't have a storyline going, but why not? They will see him on Friday in the semifinals. And he will await his judgment then. So now we have a women's match. Blair, Davenport gets a match against our friend Nikki Ass, who still is a baby face here, so we can use her here, but this is a short TV match, five minutes, and Blair Davenport goes over. She cheats to win, though against the likable goofy superhero like for other people likable I don't like goofy people but other people may I want to make Blair look good hope she's better than that jabroni Brian Blair Brian Blair dump so so then we have a promo or an interview mit unseren Freunden von Imperium oh no 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 Interview Kayla, she gets to talk mit unserem Freund Ludwig Kaiser und Gunther und sie werden über ihre Dominanz und ihre zukünftigen Pläne sprechen. Ein dreiminütiges Segment, das war's. So we will book 90 minutes again. We have booked 30 minutes already. I'm still struggling a bit, but this is a goes faster than. Usually, so three minutes here. Then we have another match between. We just had two heel victories, so maybe let's give the fans in the building something again. Um, we will have. Cody Rhodes, he's wrestling. Damien Priest on Friday and today he gets a short and decisive victory over somebody and that somebody is I have a few people in mind I'm still not 100% sure yeah he can wrestle Roderick Strong Roderick Strong just beat Shinsuke Nakamura but Roderick Strong oh. Roderick Strong is a main eventer because he's a main eventer in was a, a main eventer in NXT. Why is he a main eventer here? Maybe we need to change that. But what about these uh, these other people that I got from NXT? Carmelo, Upper Man. Uh, we they didn't change their status. They still have their status from NXT. I may have to change something about that. Maybe before I forget, I do it right now for Roddy at least. So. Um, I hope he won't be mad about it, but you should understand that. What is his relation with Eddie Edwards? I know he's married to Marina Shafir. 
So how can we change his No, my roster. I hope he's not mad. Same for Carmelo. I mean he will win on the show, but change push. Mid card. Carmelo will not be happy with this. Yeah, this is something they should work on. When you get to get somebody from NXT and they are the main eventer on NXT, you shouldn't expect them to be the main eventer on Raw right away. So Melo, you are a mid-carder. You will not be happy about this. This is where the game still needs to work on. Trick, he was lower mid-card anyway, this is okay. But Roddy, you are not a main eventer. You were not a main eventer on NXT, never before. I don't get this. So you are a mid-card guy. And that's good enough for you. Has he not been has he been unhappy with that? No disrespect, Roddy. Know your role and do the rest. So that's it for now. We will continue booking raw next time and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye bye.